there is no need to fear. Underdog is here. Dog Moto Mania here. <laughs> anyway, it's been a little while since I gave you guys an update on my medical condition after the brutal crash that I had. Uh, as I record this, it is August 18th, and I will be getting this cast off in four days, which is pretty exciting. Uh, <laughs> it's still quite sore. Um, I'm getting some more motion back in my fingers. Uh, got a metal, two metal plates in my wrist and about five screws. Um, if I can figure out how to do it, I'll put the picture like right about here. the bike uh, obviously here's the bike obviously I got into quite a bad wreck worst one of my on-street riding career in like five six years so let's take a look at what damage I incurred um, the most significant damage would be up here on the uh, right side throttle tube grip you see I wore that right down. The throttle tube is wrecked. The end of the bar is absolutely chewed up. I got some parts to replace that. Uh, you see some <laughs> some scrapes even up there. I, I literally flipped the bike. Uh, here's a little spot that actually held the, the right side stock mirror on. Which I actually broke that right off. Because like I said the bike flipped. Um, really no damage on the other side. It spun that mirror a little bit, but it was okay. Handguard chewed up a little bit. Um, looking at the lever, um, I would say I probably bent that uh, front brake lever. Um, looking down in the axle slider area, I definitely skimmed up a little there. No major damage though. Not bad at all. The forks actually seem to be straight. Went down on the right side. Hit this pretty harsh. Uh, actually got into where it made an indent in the case. This case seems to be pretty hardy. I actually got a new brake lever and some case savers to fix that up. Um, skimmed on this side. Actually bent that a little bit so that peg won't come down. But once my arm is healed I'll be able to, you know, jimmy that up and make it work again no problem I'm actually gr <laughs> ground down this axle bolt a bit I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to do anything with this chain adjuster and axle bolt replace that or not it's rounded off so it'd probably be good to actually replace that it might be the whole axle <laughs> as you can see I tore up the plate a bit. That's kind of wrecked. And like I said, I, I flipped the bike. So there it is. Uh, I actually scraped that right down. I actually got a tail tidy kit. So this damage here to the turn signal, no big deal. I actually got something to replace that already. This one's untouched. And this whole other side of the bike is absolutely fine. Like I said, I'm um, maybe 40 to 50 miles an hour. Overall, <laughs> for the speed I went down, not much damage at all. I got all the parts to replace it. Uh, the bike still runs okay. So not 
perno so really not bad at all <laughs> my third ride that's what I did to it you see that panels a little scrape but my third ride and uh, whew, bike went down hard uh, in terms of other supermotos and enduros known to be quite bulletproof and uh, tough uh, the way this bike went down hard and uh, absolutely flipped uh, it's in pretty good shape so I'm fortunate anyway after I get this cast off uh, immediately I have an appointment to get a removable brace on it and I believe the same people that do physical therapy so they'll probably give me some exercises to do not sure if I'm gonna have to go to them more than once also because of this injury and my wantingness to get back on the bike uh, I found a nice wrist brace to order uh, Mobius X8 which someone who had the identical injury as mine used to help give him some more confidence with his wrist uh, and also you know you want to give it a little bit more support to avoid damaging it again or damaging it to an unrepairable degree um, maybe a channel update uh, basically obviously uh, I got that going on the 22nd see how bad the damage is when the brace comes off, see how much mobility I have, and try to figure out how quickly I can get back on the bike. Um, I believe, due to medical bills and other reasons, that I'm thinking I'm going to be looking to sell my other two bikes. The DRZ, the 2008 DRZ 400SM, and the 2015 FZ09, which I started my channel on. Don't sleep on that bike, it's a killer. But anyway, obviously I got the 701. It's kind of a do-everything bike. It's got plenty of power. It does everything I need to do, needed to do. I don't ride super fast, thank goodness, because therefore my crash was something I could walk away from. Let's talk about the evolution of my channel. Obviously, I started on the FZ09. Started learning how to motovlog, uh, finding my voice moved on to the supermoto the drz and then the 701 i'll put like a clip depicting the evolution right here So I want to get back out there and do a bunch of wheelies. And uh, I just want to get back out there, guys. Uh, since I got back into riding again last year, after I have ridden like street for five years previously and maybe five more years of dirt bike experience. Uh, this the, since I've gotten back into riding again, this is the longest I've gone without riding. This is my passion. I want to share it with you through the thick and the thin, <laughs> through the ups and the downs. I'm going to bring it all to you. Uh, obviously, I'm an aggressive rider sometimes. We're going to have some downfalls to become wiser for it. Um, <laughs> I am fearless, therefore I am powerful. I will be back. And you'll see plenty of more content to come in the future on the 701. I'll bring it to you as soon as possible. But anyway, until next time, Underdog Moto Mania out. See you on the next one. Peace.